Ahoy there! Today we'll be unboxing the Pirates of the Caribbean On Stranger Tides edition of Yahtzee, which includes Battle Yahtzee. It may not come with the cool cup, but let's open it up and see what it does come with. Oh, it is good to be back inside. You know, it gets hot out there in the Nevada desert in summertime. Well, welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> Let's take a look inside, shall we? Do I always say that? I feel like I always say that. <laughs> well, that's what we're doing. Do I always throw this at the camera? Because I feel like I always throw this at the camera. So, Yahtzee, Pirates of the Caribbean. Dead men tell no tales, I think. Salazar is on the back. You know, we didn't get a lot of games for this movie. I feel like they've just kind of given up. And that's sort of sad because, I mean, there was great potential. Master of the Seas was a good game. Uh, their, that was a great game. What do you mean good game? It was a great game. Their content for uh, Pirates of the Spanish Main, the constructible pirate ship game, was, I mean, it, it, uh, it was, but it also had some missing stuff, like the little flags and things like that, that made it a bit complicated, but it was nice to have. And some of the captains, I hear, were a little OP. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, there was uh, the Liar's Dice. Everybody seems to own a copy. Who cares? But you could make a lot of games for this if you wanted to. Hero clicks is still a possibility. Whiz Kids! Hello! Hi, Whiz Kids! All right. We'd love it. This one says two games in one Battle Yahtzee! Battle Yahtzee <laughs> and I guess regular Yahtzee. Battle so Yahtzee. this is what I see. Ooh, it's a board. Is that what that is? That's a board. I guess there's Battle Yahtzee for Deadpool, Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah. and uh, wasn't there something else? Uh, Aliens vs. Predator. As far as the classics go, and I've kind of complained about these before in the Stratego video, for instance, uh, some of them I still like. I know it's cool to hate on those, but I like Clue. I like Battleship. I like Yahtzee. I like Yahtzee. In fact, I'm a Yahtzee. This is our second version. Yes. You know, this is a cool cup. This didn't. I mean, this was just Yahtzee. Oh, we can use this. That's one. all it was. Was Yahtzee. I mean, it, it didn't. It's right here. I mean, or am I wrong? No, it's just Yahtzee. And it was the same dice that comes with Liar's Dice. But you know, there's stands yes, in here, for some reason. which I assume means there's little figures. No, there's back there. Okay, so instructions. Let's just set those aside for later. We have what appear to be character cards. Oh, it starts right off with Blackbeard, which, I mean, is this anyone's favorite Blackbeard? We've got Black Sails Blackbeard. We've got, oh, there was two in Black Sails if you count that first episode. They did like Blackbeard. Sorry, kids, you should go to bed now. <laughs> okay, Captain Blackbeard, and he does stuff. Let's come back to that. Davy Jones, some guy, and uh, Salazar. You know, I really hoped he was going to be cooler than he was. Okay, so here's, I'm assuming these so, ships. Yeah, go with the bases. That would make sense. I assume that these ships, yeah, they go with this. So. There's a little coin in there. So I've got one of those right here. Yeah. I'm just predictable like that. So you get some ships and you get a coin. Oh, and a compass. There's a compass as well. Score sheet, pencil. This is standard equipment. I'm putting that right back in the box because it's of interest to no one. We're going to take a second with the dice here. It appears that the one is a ship. You know how with hero clicks they're starting to take the insignia and put it on the six? Right? Right. That's annoying. annoying. Super annoying. I don't like that. Throws Do you me out like every that? Every time. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. For those but, of you at home that can't count. But the one is, I mean, it's the ace. It should be the cool yes, thing. Yes, absolutely. So, Snake eyes. Kudos to Battle Yahtzee. So first of all, there's... Five of those total, Us which usual Yahtzee. you normally play Yahtzee with five. So since there's a red one, I'm guessing that this is whatever battle yeah, that is, that or out. battle Yahtzee needs. And I've never actually played it, so I'm seeing. I'm looking into it right now. Let's see. I'm seeing uh, this. And sorry for the pause. We actually had a plane fly over our head. Very How annoying is that? I mean, where do you Jet. live? There's a skull and crossbones with a one. There's a. Gull and crossbones with a six. There's uh, the zombie sharks with a five, zombie sharks with a two. Uh, that just kind of looks like a current with a three and a current with a four. So I'm seeing three different icons on this die, Pretty. like a weather 
kind of conditioned dye, perhaps. Some good weight to these. So now it's time to see uh, yeah, what the difference is. So, so game we'll summary. You are a pirate captain seeking to rule the seven seas and are determined to eliminate your competition. The other pirate captains, in order to make your task easier, you can obtain the compass, which will help guide you in your high seas adventure. So it sounds like there's a goal here. Yahtzee dice rolling combinations form the core of Battle Yahtzee. But the following rules explain the concepts unique to this game in detail. Hoist anchor and raise sail. Your fortune awaits. That's pretty cool. So you've got set up how to play. There's, a, there's remove curse, attack, character cards explained. Scoring, so it explains these cool little z zombie sharks are actually called massive attack. Uh, we've got cursed on the this guy, and we've got remove curse. So this cool little thing there is a remove curse. Remove curse. Massive attack is your sharks. It starts with traditional Yahtzee rules, of course, and all of that jazz. And I mean, have you not played Yahtzee? We've all played Yahtzee. If you care about board games, you probably grew up with things like this. So they go into great detail about that before they get Pirates of the Caribbean Battle Yahtzee rules, which I mean. Okay. Having not played any other version of Battle Yahtzee, That's I mean, happened, yeah. would it be different? Battle Yahtzee is a new twist on the classic game. The goal is to be the last player with life remaining. So that means you've got a life counter. Uh, the dice combinations and scoring are similar to traditional Yahtzee, while gameplay is slightly varied. The Pirates of the Caribbean version of Battle Yahtzee is explained on the following pages. I did not have to read that part. Sorry about that. <laughs> But, uh, but you did. Yes. So <laughs> the different part is going to be the compass. Is a compass. Yeah. Where did we which, see Which that? we pointed out right here already. Oh, right. So the compass Oops. and the medallion and then four ships. ships. And, then... and we're not going to be able to explain this during an unboxing. You're going to have okay. to wait for something a little more detailed. But And then battle chance die. So I was close. It's But it still sounds like a condition die. So each captain does appear to have their own set of interesting, uh, what do you call these things at the bottom? <laughs> Well, that depends on what well, they say. It's, uh, it's not flavor text, because it's stuff you can do. The first time you die. And let's just take a moment to <laughs> appreciate that phrase. It's like, um, what, like we're going to make a career out of this? <laughs> you may resurrect back in game at 50 life points. Uh, once per game, you may re-roll your chance value. And I noticed that there's a uh, little barrier there. I'm so liking this guy. Either there's mm. two things that he can do, like, at any given time, or he has to choose. Yeah, let's read them all. Salazar redeemed. Roll a Yahtzee, and you instantly get the compass no matter what. So apparently that's that good to sense. have, but it would be. It's kind of a MacGuffin, you know this. However, uh, and once per game, as easy as it sounds. Well, in the traditional sense, this is absolutely true. Mm. Once per game, you may avoid an attack, because he's just kind of crafty and sneaky like that. Right. He gets out. He gets out. Uh, immune to curses of the battle chance die. And once per game, you may re-roll a turn. Ooh, I like re-rolling. If I knew anything about how this game played, that would mean more to me. Removing curses sounds like a cool thing. We got Captain Blackbeard. Add two. Are you going to eat every time I talk? I see how this is. Add two to all your remove curse scores. Once per game, you may move all opponent ships two spaces in any direction, not diagonally. Those were two different things. She didn't put much of a space in. There's a space, see, top to bottom. Captain Blackbeard does those two things. I don't think most people call him Captain Blackbeard. I think it's just Blackbeard. Blackbeard. <laughs> all right. As well, opposed to Greybeard over here. It's more <laughs> white, thank you very much. Right, white. So I'm going to ba -boom. punch these. And I'm going to punch them at you, because it wouldn't be much of an unboxing if we did not. Oh, hey, there you go. <gasps> oh, I have to go get those. Look. I reigned right between the uprights. For you. There you go. I shall retrieve what you've lost. Wasn't this a Ziploc? Nope. Wait, wait, my turn. Ha <laughs> ha. This appears to be the Black Pearl. This appears to be Aye. the Flying Dutchman. Aye. And this guy, why don't I know? Red sails. Help me out. Oh, wait, we're not live. <laughs> I'm going to cheat while he figures that out. These are, uh... Let's see if I can cheat. We should know this. It just says ships. <laughs> it just says ships. It's just ships. That's not helping. Okay. Well, this game is full of ships. Well, what's Salazar's mm. ship? Maybe it's his. Salazar's is the Silent Mary, okay. and it looks like a rotting corpse, and that covers neither of these. 
So, all right, well, I'm going to make a fool of myself, but I don't know what they are. Yeah, okay, sure well, uh, that's what we found. We're going to need to play it and see what we think, and uh, we will let you know, because awesome. that's what we do now, isn't it? Uh, but thanks for tuning in for this unboxing of Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, Battle the Yassi. We're glad to have you on board, and we look forward to having you back for the next thing that we decide to take a look inside of. And until then, happy sailing, gents and lasses. <laughs> <laughs>